black light. We still on the subject of the invisible empire. The KKK. In blue. That's in a neighborhood near you. Now y'all know what this is. Enough of y'all have seen it. This brother here was assassinated. A young uh, Nipsey was getting ready to uh, save his neighborhood. And uh, y'all know the story about that. But that, see that, that video right there shows some sloppy work. They're getting so now they don't care if it's if it's uh, cleaned up or not. They just, you know, I mean, everything is on video now. But they don't care. They're still going to kill you. But this right here, you know, LAPD is under deep suspect. You don't hear too much about it no more. You don't hear the progress of the trial, you know. Unless you're probably in California somewhere around that area. But you don't, the news ain't focusing on that no more. Other murders that came out. You know, both of them John and had a trial with, and, uh, he didn't have a trial, but Amber Geiger, then the sister of Tatiana Jefferson. But y'all, you know, forget kind of easily, man. Y'all be jumping from topic to topic. We got to stay banging on that beast instead of. We got to get off of banging out on each other. Even though I'm going to point out the brothers that's under highly suspect because they're supposed to be uh, warriors for the black, the black man and woman. And then they stop turning on each other. We got to keep on bringing that out. You know. We got to keep on that, but we also got to keep banging on the bees. Now I'm on, I'm on, you know, I'm on show brothers who I know that's acting suspicious. A lot of y'all can't see it because y'all don't know about y'all roots. Y'all don't know the history of the, of the black man. Because y'all just, you know, y'all just came on the scene. A lot of y'all just, you know, coming into the struggle. But if you watch my last videos, we was talking about Hollywood. And uh, Nipsey's out there, not too far from L.A. You know, where they made... Uh, birth of a nation back in 1914 uh, it was a silent movie about the Ku Klux Klan how many of y'all know about that you go on YouTube and get it that was when Hollywood first started up and you had a lot of these Jewish filmmakers coming in and that movie right there depicted the black man 
as a savage, horny white brother wanting a white woman made her jumped off a cliff and the Ku Klux Klan had to save the country from these black heathens, you know. And that movie was done by these Jewish movie makers, filmmakers. And they was talking about the Ku Klux Klan, but they had the Ku Klux Klan being heroes. But then how is that possible when they say that the Ku Klux Klan uh, was anti-Semitic? So y'all gonna have to, you know, understand who was who was really the Semitic people. Who speaks Semitic language? The European Jew didn't speak these languages. He's from the Caucasus Mountains. He ain't from uh, where they say Jesus was born at. You know, I mean, in the Caucasus Mountain, man, it got cold. <laughs> it got cold. But where now we know his name ain't Jesus, y'all. Cause he ain't had no J's. But I'm using that because he's commonly known as Jesus. A lot of brothers don't even believe it was a guy similar to Jesus existed. You know. But in reality, it's talking about Us, the black man, black woman. You know. But uh let us move on. Now you know in, re in recent times they have been reporting police just shooting black people. Just shooting for hardly, with hardly any provocation. Uh, if you move funny, I mean, I ain't saying white people don't get shot, but on a percentage-wise, you know, it's in favor on the ratio. It's in favor of the black man and black women and black children getting shot. But y'all want to talk about what uh, R. Kelly doing, what some of these hip hop artists is doing. You got to stay focused on what they're white man is doing, or the Caucasian is doing. Getting, he's uh, killing us, not, he's killing us all kind of ways. That's what I'm gonna name this video. A million ways to kill a black man. He's not just shooting us. Look up in Flint. Look up in Flint. With the water. Uh, and he's still killing the entertainers. You know, Michael, you know, uh, Whitney. It's highly suspect that, that Prince was knocked off. You know, Tupac. It's highly suspect that Tupac was assassination. I mean, he might have played a, paid a brother to do it, a black man to do it. You know. And, uh, Martin Luther King, Martin, in any uh, part of life, you understand, they got, they, they killing a, a black man many different ways. 
we could go on and on, but look at all the young ones he killed. You know, we're gonna we're gonna hit on that. So you see, we need to stay focused and bang on that beef. Forget about the, about politicians. How long we've been trying that poli the politic thing? That's a politics. In the United Snakes of, the, of America, they run a game. Y'all think because because they reporting. These cats reporting on it that uh, they care, you know. Like Michael say, man, they don't care about us. Well, Thomas joins us now with this new cell phone video. Will, I was shocked when I watched this. Yeah, a lot of people are shocked, Sean. I want to start out with a warning. We're not going to show the actual moment St. Louis police officers killed an armed suspect, but you may still find some of the footage, some of the audio disturbing and graphic. St. Louis police released the video themselves, saying they want to be transparent here. As you're about to see, the St. Louis police chief defended the use of deadly force right after this happened Tuesday, at the nearby convenience store, witnesses say he was carrying a steak knife. 911 calls were made, and two St. Louis police officers responded. He got a gun out. Police commanded him to put the knife down. You can hear Powell tell the officers, shoot me, man, shoot me. He walks up on a ledge, then starts to walk down. <laughs> officers shot Powell nine times. They killed him. Oh, my God. A few hours later, Tuesday... The...